Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled The Treatment of Israelites at the Hands of Esau. My source, PressTV.com. And this article is entitled, Wisconsin Black Man Will Need Miracle to Walk Again. Unrest Flares for Third Night. This article was published August the 26th, 2020. A black man left paralyzed after being shot multiple times by police officers in Kenosha, Wisconsin will need a miracle to walk again, his family's lawyers say. Jacob Blake was shot on Sunday afternoon as he tried to get into a gray SUV. Two officers followed Blake while he was approaching his vehicle and as he opened the driver's side door, one officer grabbed his shirt from behind and fired into the vehicle. At least one of the bullets went through his spinal cord, leaving him paralyzed from the waist down, possibly permanently, the lawyers said Tuesday. His family believe in miracles, but the medical diagnosis right now is that he is paralyzed, and because those bullets severed, severed his spinal cord and shattered some of his vertebrae, it is going to take a miracle for Jacob Blake Jr. to ever walk again, lawyer Ben Crump told a press conference. Crump went on to say that the family intended to bring a lawsuit to hold wrongdoers accountable. The incident comes as the U.S. grapples with the treatment of Israelites at the hands of Edomite police officers, with protests being held nationwide in recent months against racism and police brutality. Now you so-called black people, you are Israelites, okay, based on your father's lineage. You will be from the tribe of Judah. So-called Hispanics, you are Israelites, and that is based on your father's side, as well as you so-called Native Americans, you are Israelites, based on your father's side. All right? You Israelite foreigners, you are Israelites, based on your father's side, going back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We were brought to America to finish out our punishment, okay? Not to thrive, but because of the indignation of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, his righteous anger formulated into curses because we could not keep our word, our agreement. <clears throat> this is Deuteronomy 28. But it shall come to pass if you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh, your power, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses, and when you explore curses, it means anger shall come on you and overtake you. Verse 23, and your heaven that is over your head shall be brass. Heaven, our heaven at this time frame is referring to the blessing of Esau. 
shall be brass. When you go into this term in the Hebrew, it means uncertain. Okay, for example, this Jake by the name of Jacob Blake was shot from behind and now he's paralyzed. Before this incident happened, he would have never thought that. Going into the validity of the scriptures and the heaven or and your heaven that is over your head shall be brass uncertain. You here today, you gone tomorrow. Always bad things tend to happen within Esau's kingdom. And your heaven that is over your head shall be brass and the earth that is under you shall be iron. Iron is going into what? Oppression. We are oppressed because of this system. And this is due to spiritual confinement that Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai has designed. Only the Edomites and the other nations can truly elevate within this kingdom. The blessing of Esau. It was designed for Esau, so-called white people, to be blessed. And your heaven that is over your head shall be uncertain. And the earth that is under you shall be oppression and harshness. When you explore iron in the Hebrew, another definition is harshness. Okay. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto you, hence prophecy. You shall see it no more again, referring to our land for a period of time. And there ye or you shall be sold unto your enemies, the Edomites. For bondmen and bondwomen, meaning what? Slaves. And no man shall buy you right. Can no man in the flesh save us out of this spiritual predicament? Only Yahweh shot. Only he can save us. And this is the will of our father, Yahweh. Okay? That is the reason why Yahweh shot is identified as he is the savior or he is the deliverer and it starts with the elect out of the nation of israel okay then it trickle down to the two-thirds because eventually they will be saved going into the kingdom of heaven but let's stick to the point we were sold to our enemies as slaves, okay? Although the Most High gives crumbs, but we still catch hell here due to the curses. And only our nation, only our nation, okay, are affected by the curses. This is Ruth 1 and 19. So they too went unto Salaki. So they too went until they came to Bethlehem. And it came to pass when they were come to Bethlehem that all the city was moved about them. And they said, is this Naomi? And the two is referring to Naomi and Ruth. Verse 20. And she said unto them, Call me not Naomi, call me Mara, 
for the Almighty have dealt very bitterly with me. This is where you get the origin of America. Okay, from Mara. Which means what? Strong's H4755 Mara, which means bitterness. We were brought here because of the indignation of the Most High. And therefore, the Most High was going to deal bitterly with us. Okay, but now we are in the end of Esau's rulership. And we are awaiting Yahweh Shai to come and save us. Lord, will your edify Shalom.